Hey guys, what's up today? This is me, Dal Su. Welcome back to Tut Twilight in our Banished playthrough. I have done a little bit of detailing of this field area over here. I also stumbled upon uh, this building, an edible lean-to. Now, it doesn't mean that you can eat the lean-to. There's your introductory dad joke for today. Uh, it means that you can store materials in an area that's as small as just four, two by two. Just these boxes. So where I had been putting a lot of boxes down as just uh, aesthetics, I can actually put boxes down that store a little bit of something. So I learned that, and then I sort of backed that up with some hedges. I finished all these walls. I put some hay bales there. I added some scarecrows. I did a row of flower planters. That doesn't make sense because there's a gate right there, which I should get rid of, actually. And I put a new one over here, so I guess it makes more sense. If I just get rid of that entirely because it looked kind of stupid. It's going to have to be a ghost one, of course. It's going to have to be a tight one. Tight ghost. There we go. So that'll look a little bit more legit. Um, I put this chicken here, by the way. <laughs> it's a decorative chicken, so don't eat it. And yeah, just kind of completed up that area a little bit. Our food is still good. Um, ish. It's dropped down from 30,000 at the beginning of the last episode. So, it, you know, we do need to constantly be growing our our uh, food and I also bought some orange seeds I was thinking maybe some orchards over here would look nice I know orchards are shit uh, for efficiency but I think they would look cool so let's go ahead and have this area cleared out uh, my many many laborers will be working on that we got our brickworks up so we are now producing bricks which means the next step is building materials here very shortly so that's what we're that's what we got going on we still want to fill in these spaces um, and I was thinking to do so with a couple houses, honestly. Because we need a bigger population down here to manage all these farms. I, I don't think a lot of the farmers actually live down here, which is, you know, causing some issues, I, I would think. So, um, let's throw down a few houses in these spaces. I've been doing town abode down here, so I'm probably going to keep doing that. I like the idea of large residences, but we don't have the, uh, materials for that quite yet. Saltbox houses look kind of dumb. Let's be let's be honest here. They might look cool in the city, but they don't really work for me out in the country. Rustic abode is pretty cool. I like town abode too. They're really not that different. Yeah, the rustic abode just country house is okay. We probably start doing some of those too. I think town abode looks m the most villagey out of them all. <laughs> that's that's if that's honest. Um. So what we'll do is we'll put one here, and then uh, we'll have one facing the square, a little bit offset. Yeah, and then um, there's this weird space right here that we'll do. We'll do one facing it, and then this will be his yard. And then I think we'll do... Um, We'll do one on the corner here, and then one on this little corner here, and then one facing the other way. We'll see how that looks. It'll take a little while to get all that done, but we'll have a few more bodies down here that'll help us out a whole lot. And it'll also help fill in these spaces, which we need. What's your problem? You are a stone cutter without a job. Uh, yeah, okay, so that one went belly up, I guess. So we will remove that structure. And I'm pretty sure you can just put it down in the same place and it'll keep on working. We do need some apiaries. That would be cool to do some apiaries this episode. Get some of that sweet, sweet honey and beeswax going on. Um, what we could do, though. We can have up to five, so... No, we don't actually want to put... Yeah, there we go. Now we got five out of five working in there. And this one will be demolished. A lot of work assigned here. We're clearing that area. Good, good. 
so yeah, I'm thinking. <clears throat> I'm thinking orchards would look cool. Orchards look really cool if you have like some hills, some like rolling hills that you can put the orchard on top of. I don't have any of those. I could try to mess about. Um, what does this do? Hmm, that's pretty cool. Uh, I could try to mess about with. Um, I thought there was a raised terrain, but apparently there's not. Yeah, that's a pretty dangerous one. That's why I said use it the unrest. Can't undo your actions with this. So I'm not going to mess with it either. So there's not much we can do to make a hill. Um, but I still think that the orchards would look pretty cool, especially if I give them a sort of aesthetic layout like this. And that would be great to have some fruit. I guess that could conceivably improve our health. You know what I want is one of these tidal pools down here as well, if it will fit. It won't actually fit. This is kind of a big building. What about uh, my hunting blind? That will fit. It's got to be on the water, right? Yeah, so what's the issue? It's got to be on a flat space. I guess it's still touching this, huh? Okay. So we could throw a few down over here. Eh, I think that adds a little bit to the flavor. Why not? I know they don't produce a whole lot of food, but they do produce some. Alright, this work is uh, happening. Our houses are <laughs> not really getting built. We could prioritize them if we wanted to. How about this situation? So we've exhausted this one. So it is permanent. You're telling me I can't actually remove it? Uh-oh. That kind of screws up my plans a little bit. Why is this fence here? I have no idea. But that's not good. I thought you could remove this certain type of quarry. We just might have to live with that if we if there's no way to get rid of it. Let's speed up time and see if they do away with it or not. This is the stone and stone cutters work here. Yeah, it's looking like um, it's looking like that that is just dead space now, and that I can't actually get rid of that, which is unfortunate. I would have kept it if I, I would have never built it had I known. That sucks. Okay, well, maybe this area is going to end up being like kind of how it is, I guess. It's unfortunate. It's not going to be uh, as nice as I had pictured it. But uh, if we've got these big gaping mines here, that really sucks. You know, I might be able to use the flattening tool to get rid of it. And this is a little bit cheeky. I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, apparently the devs thought of that. What about flattened terrain? Yeah, okay. Well, I guess that's not going to work. So we're stuck with those. We'll deal with that later. Kind of pisses me off, but... Uh, oh, well. Maybe we could... Um, I don't know. Jazz them up a bit so they look a little more appropriate. Maybe once we do away with all this and we can build some little... We could build almost like a little park. That would be kind of cool. Quarry park. <laughs> Yeah, we might be able to do something with that. I'll have to get creative. It just sucks that you can't get rid of them, because I didn't realize that. And what we need to do is build a couple of those over here where they look appropriate against the hill, right? So let's do that. 
Hmm. First of all, I tell you what, just get rid of all this stuff. Not the trees that I actually placed, but well, just get rid of it. Get rid of it all. Yeah, okay. They're making quick work of that. All right, let's hire a hunter over here for our little duck blind. That ought to be fun. And let's get rid of this also. Give us some room to work with here. Any more interesting things for sale? Nah. How much actual clothing do we have? That's an interesting question. Uh, we can do by name, and then I think we're making... What are we actually making? Rough clothes? What are they actually called? Somehow we ended up with two domestic animals. I have no idea how that happened. Hide coats at 100. So we're all good on that. Yeah, this, this area is going to have to be a park, I think. Otherwise, it's just going to bug the shit out of me. But maybe I can turn it, you know, into a happy little mistake, like Bob Ross always says, right? Wait, no, he says, there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. Is that is that right? Okay, so why are you not working? Because you don't have clay. Where are my bricks? So those are my bricks. Yep. We've got a couple bricks. That's great. Don't need any more iron ore. After selling some of our iron, we don't have quite as much as I thought. But we have this area cleared away now, which is very nice. We can see what we're working with. So I'm thinking we start out we start with the road. That's what I've been doing, and it, it sort of works because it lays out like where things are gonna. What's a what's a key road, dude? That's kind of cool. I need to play with that sandstone. So much. I still I'm discovering new things. Like it's amazing. All right, so I want a moss road that's gonna come out this way, and then curve. It's hard to make a, a real nice curve, but you get the idea. Curve that way and then straighten up. And then that's going to be where our real quarry is. Um, big quarry, probably. Big proper quarry. I can't actually build it on the side of a hill, which is unfortunate. But you can build it like this. Or like this. If I got rid of that road. Which I'm going to do. Let's get rid of the tail end here. We'll mess with that later. And we'll go ahead and do that quarry. You know what? Let's start with the orchards. I want to see how the orchards look first. And also I'm noticing that our food continues to droop bit by bit by bit. So I like standard orchards. They just look a little better. Is that my only option? Right, this doesn't use food limits. So much to take in here. Do little animal pens here too. I don't think they look very good though. All right, I keep getting distracted. <laughs> it's easy to do in this game. All right, so let's leave a space for a road and do like a row here and then let's do I mean we'll just kinda do it the same as we've been doing it I guess that's a little too small let's save that space for some houses or something let's make kind of a bigger one here And then we'll do like that. We'll make a, uh, what the hell does a water tower do anyway? I mean, that looks kind of cool, <laughs> honestly. 
I mean... Produces water. It can drink water directly to stay alive, but it has a bad impact on their health. All right, whatever you say, game. So I need to get rid of this one too. Or actually, I shouldn't. I should just temporarily fire the workers and close it down because... Man, I wish, I wish the game had told me. And so there's no way for me to like rebuild this one because now I know I need to upgrade it. So it can at least serve a purpose being all ugly over there. Anyway, I'm getting too worked up about it, I guess. I was really thinking a water tower would look kind of cool here. So let's do that. And that way we'll have a little bit more food to work with. We are down below 20,000 now. We have figs, oranges, and chestnuts. So there we go. And we need one, two, three, four more. Those take a while to produce. But we have a while. It's not like our it's not like we're in any trouble yet, though I keep saying that. And we get closer and closer to it. I need to be vigilant. Can't afford to have my beautiful playthrough ruined by something silly as starving to death. My ratio is really bad, by the way. <laughs> How are those houses? Yeah, they, they seem to have sprung up now. Which is good. Probably could stand one or two over here as well. Do we want walls around these? Probably. Would probably look better. I have to actually hire someone to produce water. Okay. So I think we're actually having our, our death spiral here, which is fine. We have a lot of people to spare. It wasn't, uh, wasn't great city management on my part, but, um, oh well. <laughs> I don't know. I'm torn about walls over here. Do you think an orchard... Oops, that's not what I wanted. Do you think an orchard would have walls? Probably, right? Probably would. Yeah, we're having a lot of deaths right now, but that's okay. We can spare some people. Cold-blooded as it sounds. I don't know. I don't know. Walls or no walls. I think regardless, we put like a tiny little barn here would be good. Can we do just a food? It's grain. A root cellar. Does a root cellar work here? I guess it does. If we can cram it in there. Yeah, I think that looks kind of good. Let's do that. It's kind of built over that road though, isn't it? Let's see how it looks. I reserve the right to destroy it if I if I don't like it. You can see our food is going back up with the harvest. This is why I'm not too worried. It keeps sort of it keeps sort of going back up. Just want to keep an eye on it. We might need to make some more lumber before too long. But we'll see. That ramp is like perfectly on the road. Hmm. I really, really like how these fields look. <laughs> Super inefficient. Could be ruining my game by being so inefficient, but what the hell. A child named Hard was born. 
Welcome to the world, Hard. Hmm. So need to fill in these empty spaces so that they look good. These guys need a yard. Something in here. I don't know what exactly belongs there, but we'll think about it. Give it a think. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. Is it supposed to be like into built into the side of a hill or something, maybe? Is that but it it looks kinda cool the way it is, I mean. Is she farming under the water tower, or is that the water tower worker <laughs> gathering water? No, she's... I, I don't know what's going on. I almost think, like, one big wall that sort of sectioned off this whole area for... for fruit production would be kind of a cool way to go. Um, maybe. Let's see how it would look. I mean, we keep going with fieldstone walls, or we could be like, well, we decided to make this area have sturdy stone walls. I wonder how that would look. You can do pretty cool stone arches with these. That's like right in the middle of the road, though. That kind of looks cool-ish. Might be, might be cooler like over here. Yeah, I don't like that. And. I don't know how much space this orchard is going to uh, encompass, <laughs> but uh, I'll be figuring that out probably on my own. Let's cut all this out. Not just the trees, but everything. Let's do that. <clears throat> These orchards take a while before they actually produce anything, right? I really like that. <laughs> I should make it. I should make sturdy stone walls just for the cool little arch, arc, arch, arch, <laughs> and then can we? I've never really used these. And I don't think I can really use them here either, but, you know, it'd be cool. I like it. We do that, and then have it have it use the little end piece. I like the little end piece. <laughs> and we could just do it all the way along the edge of this river, like a plantation would act like a well, not a plantation, but a orchard might actually be. You know, all along the river. Got our chestnuts coming in before too long. But yeah, I think that about wraps up the episode. There's a lot of stuff I want to do that's a little bit grindy. Um, these seeds, a lot of seeds that I want, but right now it's not super important, is it? We got two homeless people? The hell? Why are you homeless? Are you stranded? She is. Alright. Uh, cancel. Cancel that removal there. We don't need you cutting on that side of the river. Go home, please. 
Yeah, okay. We don't actually have a bridge over there anywhere. So I don't know how she... I guess you can just walk across. Whatever. Anyway, guys, I think that's about it for this episode. So I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.